All right, guys, KK4P in here. Um, got something in the mail today I've been waiting for, and um, just wanted to give you guys a quick look at it. I'm not going to be doing a fancy time lapse or anything like that, um, you know, because I just haven't figured all that out yet. Anyway, um, I ordered a Pixie off of eBay, which is a little 40 meter um, QRP transceiver. Uh, I think it's. <laughs> It's less than a watt output anyway. Um, That's just a kit. Uh, it was five dollars and forty-seven cents shipped. Uh, there's a bunch of them from China that are like three or four dollars. I found one seller that was in California. Um, thought it would be a little bit quicker on shipping, and I guess it sort of was, but. Let's see if I can get this to show up a little bit better here. Um, at any rate, it, it took, a, took a couple days to get here. I guess I ordered it last week. And it got here today, Wednesday, so not bad. Uh, but here's the PCB. And it's tiny. It's, um, where's my ruler? It's not very big. This is a mini Altoids Mint Tin. Obviously not going to fit in there, but I think it'll fit in a regular Altoids Mint Tin. It's uh, small. Well, that's the PCB. There's the parts bag. BNC connector. IC is in there. No torrids to wind, it uses uh, molded inductors. There's not much to it. Sorry for the shaky one handed video here. I'd, like I said, this is just going to be a real quick video. I didn't want to set everything up. Let's see, we've got some paperwork here, some documentation. Looking at the board and the amount of components, it doesn't look like it. Rocket Science. QRP Pixie CW DIY Kit. Simple 40 meter band radio transceiver. 7.023. We're going to have to change that crystal out because 7.023 is in the extra portion of the band and I'm only a general. Uh, shortwave radio transmitter receiver. So, as you can see here, um, seven resistors three inductors couple capacitors few transistors crystal LM386 for the audio Q jack headphone jack DC jack, BNC jack. And they give you a layout here. Let's see what's on page two here. Page two is just a schematic. Where are we at here? Sorry about that. So, not much to it. I got 9 to 12 volts in. Power supply. Darlington Ray. Here's your crystal. Your antenna. A little bit of filtering action going on there. And here's your audio stage down here. Headphone output, here's your key jack. Pretty simple. So um, we're going to build this. I've built lots and lots of kits before, so this is not going to take very long. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews about this online. Um, 
<laughs> the one thing I love is when people get on a review site and say, oh man, that thing is horrible, you know, does it work or does it not work? Because this was $5.47 shipped. So I don't want you to compare it to your TS-2000 or an HW-9 or, you know, your Flex 6500 because that doesn't do me any good. If I wanted a radio that performed like that, I wouldn't have bought this $5.47 radio. Uh, you know, we'll see if it works. We've got the rig blaster set up, and uh, I got a new present today from uh, someone, an Alpha Loop. Let me see if I can find the listing for this so that you can see it. Uh, give me a second here, summary. You guys were just looking at some other business I was doing, which is really no big deal. Purchase history. Here we go. Alright. So this is the listing. Uh, DC 914 40 shortwave transmitter pixie kit. Okay, anyway. The seller is CSK Win 2015. Um, oh. I lied. It was five dollars and forty-seven cents, and ninety-nine cents shipping from California. So this is why I ordered from this seller simply because um, it was in California, versus the many, 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 many of the exact same kit that are in China. Uh, this is what it's supposed to look like when it's done. You can see there's no toroids, which is why I bought this one because I just want something quick to see if it's going to work. So, eventually, we'll be hooking it up to the Rig Blaster Nomic here. No mic. Um, and getting it to do some some CW. But i got to get another crystal. I ordered a pack of crystals. And uh, we'll get it up and running on the right band. Um, let's see. So... This is what this guy says about it. Receive current 10 milliamps at 9 volts. The transmit power he's saying is 0.8 watts at 9 volts and 1.2 watts at 12 volts. Um, I've talked to a couple people that built these, including um, the guy I was talking to at West Mountain Radio, and he said, Good luck getting that. You know, that's fine. Um, so. Anyway, that's it. It's a it's a six dollar radio, six fifty. So I'm not going to be disappointed no matter what. Uh, I'm sure it'll work. I'm sure I'll be able to tune it in on the iCom here and hear it beeping away. <laughs> I think it's funny in the picture online they've got a capacitor stuck up there in their BNC jack. And, um, maybe that's how they get their extra power. But uh, that's all there is to it. It said a couple capacitors, resistors, molded inductors, and this is the exact same paperwork that comes with it. That's all you need. There's nothing to wind. The board's marked, you know. So I'm going to put this thing together and. Um, Hook it up to an antenna and see what happens. And um, stay tuned. See the outcome. Again, if you want to purchase one of these kits, that's the seller information there. Um, you can just search Pixie. There's a couple of people that sell them. So we'll see what happens. Until then, stay tuned. Uh, I got more exciting videos to come. We've got uh, lots of things going on around the shack here. Oh man.
been one of those days. So, catch you guys later. 73.